minus 4 over x, x minus 1 equals a over x plus b over x minus 1. Wait, so a has to equal 4 and b has to equal 3? Right. So I'm going to show you how, how they got a, 4 and 3, right? I do know that when I solve, my goal is to first find what? The common denominator. The common denominator. What color? Oh, I can be perfect. Okay, so my common denominator is x, x minus 1. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So x, x minus 1. So in order to turn this into x, x minus 1, I have to multiply top and bottom by? x minus 1. x minus 1 and x minus 1. This one I have to multiply top and bottom by? x. x and this is x. So then this gives me... 7x minus 4 over x, x minus 1 equals a x minus 1. Oh, I know. Oh, hold on. What? A x minus a plus b x all over x, x minus 1. Right? I took this, distributed it, and then now they have common denominators. Right? X, X minus 1. And so they become all one fraction. Uh, okay. Right? If I have 1 half plus 2 thirds, I multiply this by 3. This, uh, sorry, this by 2. Right? This becomes 3 over 6. This becomes plus 4 over 6. And now I can do 7 over 6. Yes? We understand common denominators? Mm -hmm. Are you with me, Noah? Okay. So that's our goal. That's what we did. I, I took this, distributed it. Bx is nothing to distribute. And because this is all one denominator, I put them in all one fraction. Are there any questions on how I got this? Okay. Emma's face is being really frustrating to me right now, so I need you to just write this down so far and let it process before we move on to the next point. All right. So this is what's going to happen. I need to solve for a and b. So I need to get, now that I have this same denominator on both sides, I can multiply it and then it cancels out. You with me? So leaving me 7x minus 4 equals ax minus a plus bx. Yes? We understand that concept. Yeah. yeah. I, I did all that so that I can get the, the right side into one fraction so that I can get rid of the denominator. Okay. Once that happens, I can only combine like terms in order for me to get these answers. So, ax plus bx has to equal 7x. What? Yeah. Yeah. And then... Negative a has to equal, and then negative 4 has to equal uh, negative a. Wait, a and b are like terms? Right, because they're both x. Okay. So that says that it's Right? Is so this is telling me that I can solve this. Well, this would be a plus b x equals 7x. So a plus b has to equal 7. That could be any number of things. Right, but a is 4. Is 4. Is so negative 4. No, a is 4 because this is uh, a, no, 4 no. equals a. A is 4. So that means a plus b has to equal 7. a is 4 plus b equals 7 minus 4. b equals 3. Okay. So then my final answer, which I ran out of room, is this. Right? I have yeah. negative 2, and then I have this, I 
took this and I broke it down into this. Plus a over x plus b over x minus 1. Right? And I found a, which is 4, and b, which is With me? Yes. So this is called the decomposed, uh, decomposed fraction. Or the the degree exponent. is always the exponent, the biggest exponent you have. Oh. So in this case, my first step is to see that x cubed is greater than x squared. X squared. Because this, because the bottom is greater than this, then it is um, an improper fraction. Right? No. No, no, sorry. It's a proper fraction. Yeah. So this is no division necessary. And it has to be greater because this one was equal. Yeah. So even if it's equal, I still have to do long division. Do we understand? Okay, so that was my first step. My next step is to do what? To, to, the, the thingy on the bottom. Of X. Is to what's the bottom called? The denominator. The denominator. Let's do this A. This is B. The denominator is x cubed minus 4x squared plus 4x. Yes? Mm -hmm. What's my first step? Pull out an x. Pull out an x for each one. So x squared minus 4x <coughs> plus 4. And then? Uh, A's and B's. No. Two numbers, Oh. when multiplied together, gets me? Negative four. I need everyone to stop writing and just pay attention. Four. Negative two. And two numbers, when multiplied together, gets me positive four, but when added together, gets me? Negative two, negative two. Negative two, yeah. negative two and right. negative two. Yes? Yeah. So, you have to put the partial fractions go for as many factors as there are. That one only had two. This one's going to have three, right? But the trick to this one, the one I'm pointing out over here where it's underlined, it says include multiples of the same terms. So this is a multiple of the same term. Does that make sense? So in order for me to do that, my partial fraction would have to look like this. A over x plus b over x minus two, right? And the last one would be c over x minus 2 squared. So if I have the same, I have to represent it by its oh. multiple. I don't just put x minus 2 and x minus 2. I do x minus 2 and then x minus 2 squared. Oh. Are we understanding? That's just no. the, that's the only difference between this problem and that problem. I don't understand. Is that because if this was x minus 3, right, yeah. then I would just do x minus 2, x minus 2, x minus 3. I would take each term and put it underneath. But because these are oh, the this same, is the exact same thing. this is oh. called, they're the same multiple, so I have to counteract that by putting square. Uh -huh. Do you understand, Amadou? Are you guys with me? That's, this is the only difference between uh, that and this. All right. It's okay, Tim. You'll like it. No, just because you don't understand something does not mean that it can't be solved. It bad. Oh, hey, hey. hey. Exactly, you figure it out. Did I spell that right, common denominator? Yeah. Okay. Denominator. My common denominator is x, x minus 2, x minus 2. That's my common denominator, yeah. right? Yeah. So it's 3x squared minus 5x plus 4, x, x minus 2 squared. So then I have to get each one of these as a common denominator. If I want to make this as a common denominator, what do I need to do? Uh, what do I need to multiply x by? Uh, x oh. plus 2 squared. X, x minus, minus 2. two. I that's what I meant. So I have to do the same to the top. I thought you were making, like, turning a into the common denominator. Which is the same thing oh. as x squared minus 4x plus 4. Right? I need everyone to stop writing. Pay attention. So x minus 2, when I multiply it out, is this, and I'm that's why I wrote it that way. 
but essentially I'm multiplying it by the same thing top and bottom. Yes? Does it matter which way you write it? What's yeah, I just I wrote it this way on the bottom so that it looks like common denominator. I wrote it this way on the top so that I can easily just distribute it. Yeah. Without having to add an uh, unnecessary step. So x minus two, how do I turn that? Multiply by x squared. X and x times x minus two, right? So this is multiplied x, x minus two. And then the last one is c. I multiply it by just x. x. Yes? Wait, when did you do the first one? The first one? This, yeah. this is essentially the same thing, except I multiplied out the first one okay. so that I can just distribute it. Okay. But it's the, but it's the same thing top and bottom. Questions on this? Already finished. So, this then becomes 3x squared minus 5x plus 4 over x, x minus 2 squared. I just rewrote everything. On this side, I'm going to take the numerator and multiply it out. Right? Distribute. Yeah. So this becomes what? AX squared minus 4AX mm -hmm. plus 4A, yeah. And then? BX squared minus 2DX. Oh, it's 2DX. No, it's just B. Oh, yeah. It's easier to have a certain order. It doesn't matter which order you put it in, just so you can identify. And then the last one is? Plus CX. CX. The same thing. Plus CX all over <sighs> X, X minus, X minus 2 squared. Wait, yeah. Yes? Yeah. So I multiply these by X x minus 2 squared, this cancels out, and then x, x minus 2 squared, this cancels out. Made me adjust the numerator, right? So now I just have to match the numerators, actually. So 3x squared plus, minus 5x plus 4. All of the x squareds will have to add it together equals 3. All of the x's added together equals oh. negative 5, and all of, from here, it's just, we're just adding and subtracting. But first, we have to organize these and lump them together. Okay. So, let's work on that. Can we even do that? Then? Yeah. So let's find our x squared first. So we have x squared, ax squared. Oh, bx squared. bx squared. Anything squared. else? Nope. So then this is a plus b x squared. Yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Pencils down and watch, guys. When I start talking, you just got to stop because there's a lot that you're missing. And then what are we matching? What are we matching? Like terms. What's next? We did x squared, so what are we doing? Negative 4ax. Negative 2ax, and then negative 2bx. So we have plus negative 4 minus 2 Sorry, negative 4a minus 2b x, right? And the final is, no, sorry, we also have yeah, C. plus, plus oh, dang it. Plus c x. And then our last one, that's why it's important to circle, Noel, stop talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why it's important to circle them so that you know whether you've covered it or not. Because it's easily to miss because there's so many things you have to keep in mind. And the last one is plus 4a. So we've taken care of everything, yes? So from here, we just match. And then you have three different equations to solve. a plus b, when you combine like terms, has to equal 3. So my equation is a plus b has to equal 3. You with me? B, pay attention. Negative 4a minus 2b plus c has to equal? Negative 5. Negative 5. And then finally, positive 4a has to equal 4. Okay, so a has to be 1. So which one are we solving first? A. Um, 4a. So this we solve as 4a equals 4. Divide both sides by 4a equals? One. So, so then this, 
So then we have 1 plus b equals 3. Minus 1 from both sides. b equals 2. b equals 2. two. And then finally, our last one is negative 4 times 1 plus um, <laughs> negative 4 plus, no, negative 4 times 1 plus, neg no, sorry, minus 2 times 2 minus C equals negative 5. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4 minus 4 minus C equals negative 5. Negative 8 minus C equals negative 5. Add 8 to both sides. Negative C equals 3, so C equals negative 3. No, sorry, it's not negative C. This is plus C. Plus C, plus C, plus C, so C equals 3. Do you understand how we got these numbers? Um, Beatrice, pay attention. Do we understand how we got these numbers? Yeah. Okay, so then our final answer is this with A, B, and C plugged in. So it's 1 over x plus 2 over x minus 2 plus 3 over x minus 2 squared.